Hey guys, meet Coco. So she's gonna be my little partner whenever I'm making a wig video. So please give her a shout out in the comments. <laughs> Let's get straight into the video. So this is the hair that I'll be using. I just got this hair in my beauty supply store and it's three, it comes in three lengths, eight, nine, and 10, and it's a crochet hair. I'll also be using this wig cap because I don't wanna crochet the hair on my head. Obviously the reason why we're using Coco. So <laughs> yeah. This is what the hair looks like after it's out of the pack and as I was mentioning it does come in three lengths so it's separated in three. Once I've taken out a piece of the hair from the pack, I go ahead to separate it in two. You can separate it in more than two if you want, depending on how fluffy you want your wig. So yeah, I'll be doing the crochet method for this hairstyle and guys, crochet is the easiest thing to do. I assure you that after watching this video maybe once or twice that you will become a master at it so all you're doing is pushing the crochet needle through the wig cap right maybe through one or two holes after you've done that you're gonna hook the hair hook a piece of the hair onto the crochet needle close the needle pull it back through the wig cap once you've done that you will notice that there is a hole between the hair you'll pull one side of the hair through that and then just pull the two strands to tighten it that's it <laughs> let's do that one more time so we're pushing the needle through the cap we're hooking the hair onto the needle close the needle pull it back through then you'll see the hole there which you'll pull one side of the hair through the hole and tighten it you see how easy that is guys that is like super easy <laughs> Oh guys, and if you're new, please feel free to subscribe down below and join the family. If you're not new, guys, welcome back. We're on our way to 1,500 subscribers. So if you think this video will be helpful for someone, please go ahead and share it to them and tell them to subscribe while they're here. <laughs> I have been wanting to do a crochet wig for the longest time. Well, a curly crochet wig for the longest time. So when I went into the beauty supply store and I saw this hair, I'm like, perfect. Not only that, this video or this hair was inspired by Chef B. I saw her do this video a long time ago on her channel and I wanted to try it. So now is the time. <laughs> This hair is very inexpensive guys. I paid like 2,500 Jamaican dollars for it and that's about 20 US and it's a synthetic hair. Of course, it's not human hair. It's synthetic but once you take care of the hair and you don't just throw it down, it can last you a very long time because immediately after I finished recording this video, well, I went on the road for a little bit and then as I came home, I took it off and just kind of fold it into the wig itself or into the cap itself. Then once you put it away, very little could happen to it guys. It could lasted for a very long time it took me about 30 minutes to do this hair so even if you have an event to go to and you don't have a hairstyle this is something quick that you could do and you're out the door but what kind of event and outer door may I talk about outside I keep <laughs> outside not keeping outside lock so I would recommend you do this hairstyle to go and watch a movie on Netflix and just chill because we have curfew and all these things so mm, i mean i think outer door keep yeah <laughs> now we're at the top of the hair guys and as you saw in the start of the video that i'll be doing a bang so that's pretty much what we'll be working with so what i do is cut i think this length of hair is 10 so i cut the 10 inch hair in half and that's how i made the bang right you can make this in a half a wig if you want i just didn't want to have to deal with my hair so i just because my hair is corner all the way back so if you want to make a half a wig you could just part out a piece of your hair and you wouldn't need to do the bang you could just do all of them the same length the reason i cut the hair to do the bang is to pretty much save hair because it wouldn't make sense to put a 10 inch hair there and cut off all of the rest of it so you could just cut the hair in half just to make sure that you're not wasting the hair I've completed the wig and this is what the hair looks like. No, it could do with some trimming up and I'm definitely going to do that. Yeah, but that's what it looks like so far. Um, Coco, I'm done with you now. Can I have my wig, please? So now I'm going to go ahead to take the wig off of Coco's head and put it to the rightful owner. Guys, after I put the wig on, it looked a bit not even a bit it looked crazy <laughs> so this is where you need to play around with the wig cut what needs to be cut off position what needs to be positioned so it looks like a bomb ass hair oh and guys i never mentioned this before but i think it's something you should know 
honestly, it's better to use the wig cap. Don't crochet the hair onto your natural hair because one, it's hard to take out. Like this crochet is hard to take out. I did my hair like this before and it was really hard to uninstall or take off. It was really hard. So it's easier to do it on the wig where it comes off in one. And the second, when you do it on the wig cap, it lasts longer because you don't need to sleep on it or anything like that. So I definitely recommend doing it on the wig cap regardless. Now I'm just cutting the hair to frame my face and cutting off some of those loose ends as well. Just to, you know, give it, give it a little oomph. You understand? So I did mention earlier that the hair was synthetic. I honestly do not know if adding the mousse made a difference. I, I don't know, honestly, because it, it just wasn't taking or soaking or doing anything to the hair honestly uh i just tried to rub it in and get it out <laughs> i wanted it to have a kind of like a wet type of look i don't even think it got that maybe if i added more mousse I'd, i don't know but i didn't want to waste my mousse so yeah i just added some mousse to kind of give it a wet look this i recommend putting some oil sheen in your hair so i don't think the mousse is necessary maybe you could have spray some water or whatever but yeah adding some oil sheen definitely will make it more shiny and prettier I used the entire pack of hair. I had about two to three pieces of hair left back. I could have filled it in somewhere, but I couldn't be bothered. Yeah, so this is pretty much the entire pack of hair. This is why the hair is looking so full and voluptuous, and this burgundy color is really like popping. Yeah, so I'm just playing around with the hair to see like the different styles that we could do with this wig. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you think. Are you loving this wig as much as I'm loving it? <laughs> Please let me know in the comments, guys. That is pretty much it for the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Turn on your bell so that you don't miss out on any content that I post and until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye!